Hey guys, Magnum68 here. Going to attempt to do another video for you. Um, got a couple of old revolvers here. Um, date back to around late 1800s, uh, early 1900s. They're both uh, black powder models. Um, this one here is a U.S. revolver. It's, it's made by Ivor Johnson. Um, it's a little top break, 32 uh, Smith & Wesson, little pocket pistol. And it's pretty nice shape. It's got a little, little chunk missing out of the uh, grip there. I, hopefully you can see that. Uh, I'm going to try to repair that today. And then that, that one shouldn't be too bad. But then I also have, this is a uh, Ivor Johnson. And this is the 38 Smith & Wesson. Uh, again, these are both black powder pistols. Um, the way I know that is, for, well, from my research, um, they, uh, both of them have the uh, leaf spring in here under the grips. And from what I can understand, uh, when they moved into the uh, smokeless powder, they they had a coil spring so I know some of the the first models just had a single uh, post here where they connected and then they uh, uh, the second model I think went to the the dual post for some added strength both of these have that um, but neither one of them has the coil spring so I'm assuming they're both black powder pistols and they're both in pretty nice shape um, now this one here this grip yeah well it's got a couple of little chunks out of it I'll probably work on those later but um, it's got a big chunk missing right here and about all these these little old pistols that I've I've come across and I have several 90% uh, <laughs> of them the grips are broke on the bottom and I don't know if people use them for driving nails or <laughs> what they did um, but about all of them are broken these are rubber grips they're a real hard rubber grip uh, they feel more like a plastic but they, but they are a, a rubber grip so what I'm going to try to do here is repair them and I had some success repairing one of these ones before so we should be okay but I'm using this um, agri-glass get it at Brownells um, and it's a uh, two-part like epoxy and you just mix equal parts and you fill it in kind of like doing Bondo work on a car or something and then you let it set up and then you know you can sand it to where you want it and then um, I have some black dye somewhere that I need to put in this um, I'm gonna have to look but uh, you can dye it black when you mix it up and then these grips here I'll probably end up painting them black they were black originally and I run this whole thing through my sonic cleaner I tore it down but the grips came out brown so <laughs> I'll probably go ahead and repaint those black when I'm done just so it it looks better and it all kind of blends in so um, let me uh, let me see if I can find that die and I'll get right back here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is uh, take the grip off. That's what I was talking about, the leaf spring there. So I would not want to shoot smokeless powder through these. And I, I, uh, I'd want to be real careful even shooting black powder because these guns are pretty old 
All right, and then what I think I'm going to do here is put some tape on here just to protect the gun from the agri-glass. And then that will also allow me to form it. right on the gun and uh, you know not have it sticking to the frame so I'll just put that back on and I think I'll go ahead and stick the screw back in that way it doesn't slip around on me Same with this one. That way I can just mix this up and just fill that in right there. And then after it hardens up, I can take the grip off, pull the tape off, and then sand it to fit. So this one here. Alright. And this stuff here, I believe you just want to mix equal parts of it. This stuff is still good. I've had it for a while. It's not going to take a lot. Now, I wouldn't want to stick this into here with that on the stick. You don't want to get them mixed up together because you don't want them hardening up in your container. So I'll use the other end of it. Now I've got a little bit of dye. This usually comes with it when you buy it at Brown Owls. set up but you got plenty of time to work with it and I know it'll it'll probably be tomorrow before I come back and finish up this video you know to get it to where it's hard enough for me to sand but as you can see by putting that dye in there it helps you tell too how well it's mixed but you want to mix this stuff real well you don't want to You know, I've, I've, I've put it on, it wasn't completely mixed up, and then it didn't harden properly, so. It's, uh, I think you got a little more time to work with it than you do. Like, I don't know if, if you, any of you have ever had any experience with uh, filler putty for auto body repairs but uh, it hardens up pretty quick this doesn't harden that fast if I remember right it's been a while since I messed with it but but okay now we'll just and 
and you want your surface clean too and I, I I did clean this prior so just so you know you definitely want to make sure that surface is good and clean and you want to form it the best you can I mean the better job you do here the less sanding you have to do and I mean, even if it's not perfect and you sand it and you think, oh, I need a little bit more, you can always go back and put another another layer on it. But I'm going to try to avoid having to do that. Also going to try to get as much of it as I can off of the tape there to make that easier to get apart after it's hardened. If it, you know, if it's just a thin layer, it won't be a problem. I mean, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, why don't you just find a, another set of grips for it? Well, you can do that, but they're not always easy to find especially in good shape because like I said these most of these that I've seen have chips out of them okay. I hope I'm on camera here for all of this Okay, we'll see how those set up, and uh, like I say, it'll probably be tomorrow before I get back to this, but you guys will be back here in a flash. Okay guys, we're back here, and it's about 24 hours later. Uh, we're going to start with uh, the grip that was had the biggest chip out of it. Uh, brown grips here so you can see that's all set up pretty hard now so let's take it apart Just have to be careful with this here first there we go let's be real gentle not in a big hurry Starting to 
loosen up. This agri-glass is pretty good stuff. I used it to uh, repair a stock on an old double barrel 12 gauge. Um, pretty old one. I think it dated back to the 1870s. Um, I should have probably videoed that, but I didn't. Um, I, I did take some before and after pictures, so maybe I'll make a little video on that and show you what I had to do. It was cracked, the whole stock was cracked all the way through and in pieces, and I had to uh, drill it and put a rod in it, and then I agri-glassed it, and uh, turned out pretty nice, and I, and I refinished it. So maybe I'll do a video on that next, but, but there's what we're looking at. We got a pretty good chunk on there that we need to trim off and then start sanding on it. So let's see what I can do here. I want to gouge in and get too much of it. So. Start out with this, speed things up a little bit.
as far as I want to go with that. It's starting to take shape. It's never going to be perfect, but hopefully when it's finished, it'll look a lot better than it did. But, you know, we've got all this checkering in here on the grips. So I'll, I'll never be able to copy that. Um, maybe some of you are, are good at that kind of thing. And you'd be able to do a lot better job with it, but I'm just going to do the best I can. I got a little bit of... 80 grit here. Stuff, I mean, it, it's hardened up pretty good, but it, it's still a little bit pliable. Kind of switch to some 220 grit here. I think you kind of get the idea. I'll, I'm going to go off camera now and work on this a little more and then I'll probably go ahead and paint the grips and then come back and uh, show you what it looks like. Alright guys, it's about 30-40 minutes later and uh, finished sanding them, put a coat of paint on them, uh, dried them with a the heat gun and uh, pretty well finished up. They turned out pretty good. There's Here's the one that just had the small chip. As you can see you can't even hardly tell it was there. I mean if nobody told me I wouldn't know. And here's the one with the large chip. I mean if you look really close you can see it almost just looks like just normal wear. It's what it looks like there now. I mean, it turned out pretty decent. It looks a lot better than it did with that big, big chunk out of it. So, um, you know, easy little fix, kind of fun. This stuff, uh, this agri glass I get at Brownells, it's not cheap, but it goes a long way. So, I mean, you know, if you're doing a lot of stuff, um, uh, it, uh, it's pretty inexpensive to do a little repair like this with it so but thanks for watching the video I'm gonna shoot another one here I think on that double barrel I was telling you about just because I think it's kind of interesting um, so stay tuned for that um, if you like the video I'd appreciate uh, you hitting that subscribe button and uh, like button and uh, thanks again for watching